Now in this video, we are going to cover about the header files. Basically, from the very first session, we are using the header files using hash include directive. Now, since we already know what is a preprocessor directive and how do they work, so here we are going to have a deeper look into that. Whenever you say a header file to include in your source code, that actually replace the header file with the code contained contained by the header file itself before the actual compilation starts. So all the header files which we have contains the prototype of the function that is the declaration of the function and in the library you will find the definition of such functions which will be linked during the execution. But here you see the syntax like hash include and then inside the angular brackets you will pass the name of the file. Rather than using these angular brackets you can also pass the file path in the double quotes but there is a difference. Whenever you set up an environment doesn't matter on which particular compiler you are writing the code each has a default source path for the header files. If your header files is not located there but you have placed it in some other location then you can use these double quotes along with the full path of that header file. Now once you have added that uh, header file and you compile let's see what will happen. Suppose header.h holds this particular thing means there is a prototype as I said like header files will contain nothing but the prototype of the function. So here this is a prototype, this is a declaration of a function. Now, when you will say header.h in the code, so during the compilation, this line will be replaced by this line. Similarly, obviously uh, any header file will not be having only a single method. So the complete code, whichever is there in the header file, which will be replaced by the, uh, the name will be replaced by the complete code of that header file. Now, when you are using and maybe by mistake you have included a single header file twice. So that may cause an error because you may get a multiple declaration of the same method. So for that you can use once only headers means by using the again some other preprocessors like if and def means if not define this one then define that header file. So even if uh, it is defined earlier you have already included it then it will not be included again and it will uh, make you get rid of that errors which were expected to come uh, like this like here you have uh, header.h my header.h header file inside which you have put this particular thing like header file if it is not then include that all right and uh, again we have used some variables also which will be used here so hash include stdio.h hash include my header.h hash include my header.h so you see uh, like this is included twice so if it is already included this particular thing then again at the second time it will not be included and your program will run smooth 